YouTube, what it is? It's your guy, not the average trucker. Just getting out the gym, man. Ugh. You know, I'm an old man. Got three kids, man. Two of them boys. So I try my best, you know what I mean, to stay in shape. You know? Trying to stay in shape so them little dudes can't beat me in nothing, you know what I mean? Everybody doing out there today. Woo! Just getting out of this, uh, this CrossFit boot camp class. Tired out my mind. But you know, health is wealth, like I said before. A lot of us sitting behind that wheel all day, driving. You know, eating snacks while we driving. You know what I mean? Putting them pounds on. We ain't getting out doing no cardio. We ain't stretching. We ain't doing nothing, you know, to get that heart rate up. Only thing, only thing doing that, you know what I mean? Only thing getting our heart rate up is when we uh, find some time to get some 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 goody goody from a lady or something. Which ain't good, man. I mean, your stamina with that lady ain't no good. You ain't getting that cardio in, you know what I mean? Ain't no point in making all this money. You ain't gonna be around to live comfortably and, you know, spend it without wheezing and all that. Woo! But I'm beat, though, you know. I am definitely beat. But, you know, like I said before, man. Can't be out here trucking looking sloppy. You know, going in and checking in and, you know, your, your belly hanging over your belt and all that. Come on, man. Get out here and get your sexy on, you know. Get out here and knock some jumping jacks out. Get out here and run on that treadmill. Get yourself in shape, man. Go get your old man headband like me. You know what I mean? I am definitely out of breath. Definitely, definitely, definitely out of breath, man. But, you know, what can you do? But anyway, that's what I'm curious, man. A lot of these uh, OTR guys, man, y'all got gym memberships. You know, when y'all get your home time or y'all out here, you know, getting your workout on or you're just so happy to be home that you laid up, you know, on the couch. Or, uh, you know, football season back, you out here ready to watch these uh, college and pro football games, man. You know, it don't take much, man. You know, it's a lot of uh, videos on YouTube, man, about calisthenics and things that, you know, you in a truck, you can't. You know, I know a lot of y'all not traveling with kettlebells. A lot of y'all not traveling with dumbbells. But it's a lot of things you can do out here, you know, using your own body weight, man. Plank holes, you know, that's good for your core. That'll help you burn calories. You know, keep your core engaged. You know, that's a, that's a good way to burn a lot of fat without much effort. You know what I mean? You can do plank holes, man, for like, you know, two minutes a day. And that should, you know, part of my language, but that'll go a long way, you know. Obviously, things like burpees, man. I you know my lighting ain't good, man. I'm riding down the street. But uh, things like burpees, that'll help, you know. Engage your core, man. Burn some calories. You know, you can do simple things, man. Old school push-ups, man. Like you, you know, like you in, in prison, man, on the yard or something, man. Do you some push-ups. Do you some crunches? You know, little things, man, just to engage your core. You know, just to help you get rid of them love handles, man, because that, that ain't sexy to nobody, man. You know, I don't care how much money you making on the road. You come home, you big willy, you know what I mean? You got 100 grand in your savings account and all that. Money to burn. But you got them love handles, man. That's not sexy, man. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're... 25 up to 65, man. Love handles not sexy to nobody, man. 
And then, you know, and if, and if your lady telling you otherwise, that means she's strictly with you for the paper. You know? Because the last thing you want is to be on the road making paper, but your lady ain't attracted to you no more, so she out here messing with the young boy with the, with the six pack. When it don't take much to get that six pack, man. You know? Avoid some of that greasy, sloppy stuff in them truck stops, man. Avoid them hot dogs on the rollers. You know? Instead of uh instead of ordering that double cheeseburger, man, get you a grilled chicken sandwich or something, man. Get you a nice Caesar salad or something, man. You know? Forget making all this money, man. You gotta be healthy, man. I, you know, I ain't a personal trainer. I ain't a dietitian. Like I said before, man, I'm a colon cancer survivor. And I, I've never been an obese dude. I've never been a one that eat a lot of fried foods. I've never been a guy that smoked, drank, none of that. But I managed to have colon cancer. Cancer didn't run in my family or none of that. And you know, it scared me half to death. It's like, you know, I, I wasn't a workout warrior, so you know, I didn't work out much, but I went fat. You know what I'm saying? I don't have diabetes. I didn't have high blood pressure. So I'm like, yo, if somebody that's in decent shape such as myself, man, I played a lot of basketball. You know, I used to run on the treadmill a little bit. So if somebody that was in decent shape like me can end up with colon cancer. Yikes to, you know, a lot of these dudes that don't work out at all. Or a lot of these dudes that's at Wendy's and Arby's and mcdonald's burger king every damn day you know what they gonna do so that's one thing i encourage a lot of people man you know plus when you when you get a little workout in man whether it's you know once or twice a week or you know five times a week it clears your head man helps you get rid of a lot of that stress that you encounter while you riding up and down the road man you might be up and down the road and your lady's at home and she calling you mad because the air condition stopped working or you stressed out about bills and stuff. It's a good way to let out frustrations, man, is to just, you know, go to the gym, man. You know, get a couple squats in, get a couple bench presses in, man, you know. Knock out some of that stress, man. Clear your head, man. You'd be surprised how much working out clears your head, man. It'll help you sleep like a baby at night, you know. That's what I try to do, man. I got the obvious goals of just, you know, wanting to be in shape, man, wanting to be around for my kids, cause you know, I'm, you know, I'm damn near 40 years older than my youngest son. So, you know, I want to be around when he learning to hoop, or learning to play football or something. I want to be able to chase him around the yard. You know, I don't want to be in a little uh, wheelchair, you know, one of them power scooters or something, trying to play catch with my kids, you know? So I try to, you know, you know, no matter how hard my day was, I mean, I did a full 12 hours today working from sun up to sun down. And I still, you know, no matter what, I shouldn't say no matter what, I'd be lying, but, you know, a good 80% of the time, man, no matter how late I come home, I still try to hit up that that uh that crossfit class at you know 6 p.m or 7 p.m just to you know just to keep the fire burning you know what i'm saying just because you trucking and you out here being a road warrior don't mean you can't make time for yourself man because working out is investing in yourself just like driving that truck getting that cdl buying your own truck you know was an investment in yourself or in your family likewise man always view getting in shape is an investment in yourself man because it's a total package but i'm about to pull up at the crib man about to shower get this uh old man headband off of me it's your guy not the average trucker subscribe like hit me up man engage